So we're doing a Tivot Shalom, Parashat Ekev. Umaltem et Orla. So the topic is Umaltem et Orlat Levavchem. How do you say Orla in, uh, in English? What's the word? Orla. Orla um, is the, you know, when we do a Brit Mila, then there is a piece of skin to it. And we're removing that piece of skin. So the same thing, there is an Orla piece of skin or something that covered the heart. Umaltem et Orlat Levavchem. The orpechem, your your stubborn neck and your heart, remove that pelotic shoe, and you will not be uh, hard anymore, hardened. And Rashi explain, orlat levavchem, otem levavchem v'kisuyot. It's like the heart is opaque, is is blocked, and covered. And it says from the Baal Shem Tov Akadosh to explain the double lashon when it said twice, otem levavchem v'kisuyot, like the 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 cover of the heart, and it's blockage. She said, "The mechate adam gamav nei alibo metumtam." So, from the sins of a person and from his blemishes, his heart become metumtam. It's like atum, blocked. As I said, she said, "Mesechat yuba avera metamtem et libo shel adam." She said that the sin will make a person heart blocked. And modern Hebrew, metumtam is like when you say somebody is stupid. So you can say that. Somebody that do sins becomes stupid. Shenemar venitmatem ba mal tikre venitmatem ela venitamtam nitamtem. And this is the otem alev, like a blockage. Otem lev is also a, like a heart attack, a spiritual heart attack. And besides that, the heart not enough that is getting blocked. Then it have like a cover, a cover that actually seal the heart. So the heart became covered and that person cannot hear Musar from people that rebuke him. And the more people talk to his, to his heart, right? I talked to his heart, I gave him Musar, I rebuked him, I tried to make sure that he will do a, a tshuva, a repent. The more people talk to that type of a sinner, then the word will fall on blocked ears as well. Because when the heart is covered and when the heart is blocked, then he doesn't accept, doesn't internalize, doesn't hear anything that people talking to him about Musar. So right. the heart is is uh, is covered. It's it says it's worse than blocked. And similar to that, it says in the Orach Haim Hakadosh in the Parasha of Ben Sorer Mure, like a rebel son, to explain. What, what it says, Bnei Nuzeh Sorer Umer, right? The parents saying to the Bedin, right? Our son is a rebel. He doesn't hear what we're telling him to do, right? Etc. Doesn't hear. It says, maybe, right? Sheba Le'ayir, it comes like to, to have a, to explain here that when a person is crowning, making the evil inclination to his king, then he says, then it is taking from him the knowledge and, and, and knowing about Hashem and the hearing is become uh, in him hearing impaired from move for Musa because the evil inclination is, is standing literally on the on the heart and preventing from words to come to his soul. And he said, and he's bringing an, an, an analogy, a mashal, to a king, that the gatekeeper were thieves, right? They were thieves, the gatekeeper. And the people that come to see the king, right? So <laughs> how is it possible that this gatekeeper give them permission to go to the king without stealing them and taking things from them? Maybe they will prevent them from going to, the, to visit the king. And that's why the parents said, he doesn't hear our voices, right? Not literally the voices, but what, what the parents are asking him to do or not to do. Because he, is, he became a hearing impaired because the evil inclination. And also we can add more in the explanation of his holy words of the Orach HaMakadosh. said, So a Jew, even after his sin, he still have a part of Hashem within him. 
ורק אם ייכנס בלבבו, and only if, if it will penetrate to his heart, the rebuke and the Musa, right, the tochachot, they were like making a revolution in his soul, and, and, and then he will be able to repent. And furthermore, right, the evil inclination actually is trying harder not to let the words of Hashem and the Musa to go into his soul and his heart. Because these words can actually create a, a revolution, right? The person can actually repent and do tshuva. And he said uh, that the evil inclination is like this, this uh, despised gatekeeper that doesn't let the right one to get in, doesn't let, let the right word to get in. Because he knows that by doing that, he will be removed. Right? He will be removed. Be removed from what? From his position, the evil inclination All that right. is blocking the heart. Because if he will let the word to come in, then the person will repent. He do tshuva. He will fight the evil inclination. Oh, evil inclination. Oh, he'll, he'll. Okay. Yeah, he's talking here about the spiritual thing, but actually, it's a real physical. It's a reality because somebody sin, then the evil inclination is getting stronger, and he's blocking his heart, and then he's covering the heart. And many times you can see people that are very intelligent. They even learn Torah but they don't keep Torah mitzvot. So there's nothing to do with being wise, smart, just become opaque, he's blocked. He hear, but the, the words are not getting in. So, so that's the evil inclination, right? Okay. And also including in that, man, they told me about Shem Tevakadosh Torah, and he said, our sages says, right, that every day we have a voice coming out from Mount Sinai, Har Chorev. And he asks a question. So if that voice coming out, why nobody hear? And if nobody hear, why we have that voice coming out every day? So he said that that voice that people don't really hear with their ears, actually waking up the persons to do tshuva. Mulida itorirut, itorirut, right, in the heart of a Jew. And all the hirure tshuva, thinking about repent, that suddenly sometimes we do have them coming out from that voice that echoing in the world. And that influenced, right, our hearts and our work. It's a sign, you see, that is right here, and our work is when we have this uh, thought of tshuva to do sometimes, we're waking up, right? We have like sparks to do the good thing, then to hold to it and not to let go. Because the evil inclination will fight very hard. Mm -hmm. And this is the meaning of orlat levavchem, ote levavchem, the, the, the piece of skin that's covering the heart and the blockage. That only the blockage by itself, it's not so bad, it's not the worst thing, because he can still hear the word of Hashem. But when it is covered, right? satum, it's covered, then he cannot get anything. Nothing will get in. right? And he says, and therefore it says, the same way we need to do a brit mila and to remove the piece of skin, we need to do it to the heart. Not really to open the chest and take out, but again, spiritually. Right, so because the same way that we have the, the flash or la of the Brit Mila, because as long as the Jew doesn't have a Brit Mila, it's called Arel, right? He's, he's not allowed to do many things that Jews are allowed to do. He cannot eat Korban Pesach and, and more, many other things. So this is the Orla Talev. This is the same way the, the spiritual cover on the heart, because he cannot wake up and do Tshuva and to repent. And therefore, it says Orla Talev to remove that. Because that's like the reality when the heart is, is opaque, when the heart is sealed, blocked, and have a cover, that's a lacking in that person. So the same way we need to, to spill the blood when we're removing the piece of skin in the Brit Mila, right? So the same way we have to spill the blood by having Mesirut Nefesh, like putting really an effort and to remo remove that spiritual blockage and cover from the heart. And says sometimes, right, it's happening that uh, we, we have our heart blocked and we don't feel Hashem. 
we don't see Hashem, we don't know. But that's our pop, that are our job to open it, to open the blockage, to go to a, a spiritual uh, a plumber. So then we can have the ability to hear the, the, the words of Hashem and rebuke, tochacha, musar, etc. And that's why it says, to have the mitzvah, umaltem et orlat levavchem. Not only the Brit Mila of our uh, of that organ that we have in the body, but also a spiritual one that that have in the heart. And this is in this parasha, right? So the pasuk said, "Umaltem et orlat levavchem veorpechem lo takshu od," and your your neck will not be stiff. And this is a spiritual work that we we're supposed to do. Shkoyach, Shabbat Shalom.